we can't not mention yeah. that I'm, Diddy got some new allegations. I'm gonna be honest mm. with you, freaky man, freaky my, freaky man. My take on this is really quick. <laughs> freaky boy. It wasn't just him. <laughs> Freak bull. Yeah, some other people mentioned in this uh, lawsuit, yeah. but uh, my take on this is gonna be real quick. This is not gonna stop. Um, Pandora's box has been open when it comes to Diddy and his past life, and see that's the thing when you have too much fun. It's too many scenarios, a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think this is gonna stop. I think people see that, yo, he might be giving some money if he wronged you, and I, I just, just, I don't see this stopping the, anytime. The difference soon. with this one on the uh, lawsuit, there were actual pictures. Yeah, I, and what yeah. pictures? I don't know. I mean, you you saw it, right? I didn't. So there was a name mentioned that kind of threw me off. I nigga said I seen it, right? I nah, nigga, the talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me just was, let me just say the lawsuit first. Diddy yeah. has been sued by his former male music producer for sexual assault. It's Rodney Lora Jones. See, that's Lil what he Rod fucked up. Crazy. That, that's what he fucked up. Know, right? Naming himself. That's why he picked them that's to produce crazy. the shit. Crazy. Lil Rod. He, he said in the in chilling the, with in the Lil filings, Rod. Yo, who I'm with? <laughs> Lil Rod. <laughs> Lil Rod. <laughs> in the filings, he said he alleged that Diddy grabbed his anus, quote unquote, and um, he also mentioned. I don't want to say the name. His anus. No, 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 no. The oh. other one of the other people that he mentioned in the thing was another pro, uh, prominent. He mentioned he mentioned Stevie J in there. He mentioned uh, I don't know. He just mentioned the he mentioned Stevie J, but the picture include. I'm reading off an article. I don't have like the picture in front of me, but he said the legal document lists a lot of like men, and then one of them was Stevie J, but the picture of the man included was actually a male porn star named Knockout. Got you. Knockout and Lil Rod. This is a little freaky too. <laughs> this is a little too much too freaky. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Knockout and Lil Rod. Um, but yeah, it is is almost nothing new with this Diddy yeah. case. I guess it's just new allegations. Um, to be seen. I I, I personally believe mm. that where there's smoke, there's some fire. There's mm. there's way too many people saying way too many things of similar acts. Um, and it's nasty. And if any of it's true, it's nasty. Um, I want to talk about the things that have been actually said. I don't want to talk about the speculation. Yeah. I went down the rabbit hole. Okay. The rabbit hole will lead you to Usher and Justin Bieber. You and gotta get out of that other, hole. Like I oh, and I don't ever want to believe those things if they're not true. Uh, but people on YouTube are really good at making you believe things that you never would have thought and start connecting dots, right? Like yeah. I know we probably all have seen the video of Usher, Kevin Hart in the bedroom doing like BTS, like, hey man, we used to wrestle over over frosted flakes, like honey nut Cheerios and shit. Yeah, <laughs> man. I never wrestled there. none of my man's over frosted flakes. Never did that. You know, so off the wake up. Off, off the, the wake, wake up. up. Never at did eleven that. years old. It's crazy. So Indeed. You know, 50 Cent has has, has been monitoring in this I never story. woke up, looked at a nigga, and let, say, yo, yo so you run into the Frosted Flakes? Why millionaires fighting that. over cereal? Exactly. How old were they? I, you don't, you so don't have to Diddy fight was a grown man at that time. Yeah. Usher was... He said 10 he to was 12. New to the, yeah, he was new to the game. Diddy was like 10 to 12. He was and 10 to 12? I don't know. He, he, I, I'm going to just say he was younger. No, I really Diddy know. said 10. Oh, okay. In That's the video. so young. 10. Oh, okay. And he attended Diddy's Flavor Camp. Yeah, he wasn't supposed to go there. It's called Puffy's Flavor Camp. Yeah, he wasn't you supposed know to what go I'm there. So there's, there's a lot to be seen. <laughs> Red flag right there. Um, Diddy, very powerful person. So I know there's some people who are afraid to kind of touch the story. I'm more so just waiting for things to be developed. Um, I'm open to talk about whatever when it comes to Diddy. Like mm -hmm. Diddy's, he, he, he's, he's, he's a freak <laughs> man. If she any get, of this is true, she get too freaky for me, man. Like just, just fuck on your one girl, man. It, or whoever you fucking, just fuck on them. And, and does stop. it make it suspicious that nobody that's ever been mentioned, like when they don't press or make like take legal action, like uh, absolutely, like Cat Williams at the top of this year, he named names, he said scenarios, he put accusations, allegations, he put all this shit on so many different people who all have money, and not one person pressed charges or or for made like, a claim for like slander so, and shit. not one person said anything that he said about like in a defamatory way they all just stood silent yeah. so okay. it's just silence some of those complacency go. no but remember in in that same thing cat williams said uh a lot of what he does is he just gathers information yeah but he so, gave the information too right but he didn't give all of it he he showed some restraint by not saying everything. But what does that have to do with them defending what was said? Because if they did, then he's coming. I would assume he would come out with more information. So, yeah, that's so, why they're not like fighting him. That's, okay. that's his point. So are you, you guilty if you're not defending your name? Like all we have is our name. I think it so depends. So if somebody is saying, I, yeah. yo, this nigga was sticking it in my ass. Mm -hmm. 
what the fuck, bro? I'm suing. What are we doing? Like, that's no. <laughs> what the fuck? But you know, at this time, if somebody he, said this... I was getting anything in my ass, <laughs> yeah. what yeah. the fuck? Nah, we gotta like no. At no, this time, no, at, at this time, no. no, 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 no. Probably... And do what you want. Love who you love, but if it doesn't apply, like, don't let it fly. At this time, though, he's probably being instructed by his lawyers. But you're right, though. I think it's it's, it's well, time. But not just Diddy. All Stevie oh. J. Oh, you know, not, or, or yeah. anybody who's who's been associated. There's been mad artists. There's been Stevie, mad prominent Stevie. people. Like Diddy has managers mm -hmm. and security guards mm -hmm. and people on his team and other artists over the years who have also been included. Like Cuba Gooding Jr. I always fuck that nigga's name up. Mm -hmm. But the Freaky Man, <laughs> Freaky Jr. Like his name is even in this shit. If yeah. I was him. The first time I see my name next to Diddy, nigga. Yeah. Well, boy. But he's probably cool with Diddy. I don't give a fuck. No, I know, but hear me out, right? If if you align with whatever that person may align with, you guys are probably on the same page. Y'all are going to react the same way you guys are, right? Like, you guys are probably in unison on how you guys are going to respond or not respond. I, I just want to hear from one person, right, mm -hmm. that's been accused of some of the things of sexual assault, of some, like, I just want to hear from one person speak publicly if it's been made you know known publicly yeah you have the the chance to defend yourself publicly i want to hear why they decide not to combat any of the allegations accusations rumors that you know aren't proven to be true Facts. if they're not true do just you, tell me why you, you would not do you want them to just uh, um speak out and defend themselves or you mean like i want them to sue and yeah, I want to see legal suit. action. No, because bro. like maybe, maybe like it's not true, but maybe they don't have enough evidence to prove that like this is false. You have to shut the fuck up if you are not speaking the truth on my name. Maybe they're doing it. If probably. it's slander, if you're saying I fondled your butthole, yeah, that's crazy. You can't just get that off on me. Okay, wait, wait, yeah, no, crazy. wait, hold on. Let me let me explain like my point. Let's say mm -hmm. I was mentioned in a lawsuit and someone says Regina fondled my butthole. Yeah. And I can't automatically <laughs> I can't automatically be like, fuck you and sue them because I don't have enough to defend myself in a legal case. That's what I'm saying. What if they just I just can't sue them because I don't have anything like it's defamation. Counters, if yeah. and, and not but just, how do I prove not that? just fondled the butthole, it's also harassment. Right, like that, you forced the fondling. It wasn't like consensual. Okay, None like, of these acts are let's say I, well, consensual. Let's say I'm innocent, and you got you mentioned me. You're defaming me, but I like how do I defend myself? But I didn't do it. So in order for me to I continue know. to not for you to stop, I'm going to put a cease and desist. <laughs> You're gonna get a letter from my legal team that says say if that you though. continue to say these things about mm -hmm. me publicly, okay. you will be sued because you are now affecting me, my mental, my mm -hmm. bottom line, whatever it is. If Wait. this is not true, I'm gonna give you a warning that says shut the fuck up because it's but not true. That's it's, what I'm, it's already a lawsuit though. You you mean just say it without filing a lawsuit? Both. I'm doing everything to protect my name and my innocence. I'm saying, I want to protect a, myself too, but like if I have nothing to protect me, can I just sue them? Like can I? You just... can send a cease and desist. Okay, okay, that's yeah. defamatory. I'm just a no, I know, okay, okay. but that's defamatory. If okay. you list me as somebody who you know fondled your asshole, if it's a if it's a heinous act like that, I okay. would I would definitely want somebody to speak up and say some shit. Mm -hmm. But bro, cease and desist don't work on social media. Yeah. You know how many I don't give a fuck about but, social but, media. But, but hold on, the damage is done. What I'm saying, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is yeah. the cease and desist probably was sent out. What I'm saying, we wouldn't know unless that person was like, "Yo, I sent I sent so and so a cease and desist." So chill. TMZ I'm, exists. You would know if somebody nah, if, if there's one, mad cease and desist no. that's been sent out that haven't been made public. What's the that's a fact. What's the difference between his lawyer putting out a statement and Diddy saying he didn't do it to use? Well, did he? He would never legally. Nobody would advise him to say anything. Right. So I don't see him saying. I don't anything. think anybody believes him right now. But I'm, and I'm not even talking about Diddy. I'm talking about the Just moving parts around Diddy, mm -hmm. the, gotcha. the subjects around Diddy. Diddy can't say anything right now. Yeah. It's it's just in too deep. Pause. Like no, but I don't want to talk about his PR Diddy team. But his PR teams have released yeah. uh, things on their story like, hey, Mr. Combs does not agree with any of that. Even with Lil Rod, he said some shit. Uh, his uh, <laughs> his lawyers said that it's it's a bunch of bullshit, and he's looking for money. Even Stevie J replied a little bit. He didn't reply about the fucking or anything like that but he did say that his little rod is currently in a pub dispute with with, with diddy, diddy. Yeah. for the for the love album mm -hmm. yeah that's i think that's probably his first qualm i didn't know he was touching his butt too 
But his first qualm is did he not trying to give him the, the pub? So Stevie J responded to him and said, Yo, dog, how about you tell the full story? You were brought in as an engineer. Again, mm -hmm. I don't know what is facts or not. That'd be my whole thing, Savon, about yo, speak up on what I don't even know yeah. what's true from nobody. Man, no just hear something. I, I don't even know. And I agree with you on that. I, I just know, know I'm, I'm if confused. my name's ever associated in something like that, Heinous act. like I feel we, it has to be addressed yeah. because if you're mm -hmm. addressing me publicly, yeah. putting sexual assault, har harassment, all, all these kind of things, Absolutely. like it has to be said. Like nah, bro, this 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 can't go. And like even somebody like Ja Rule, you know how many stories I heard <laughs> from Gene Deal about Ja Rule <laughs> coming out the the, oh, the, the bedroom bro. butt ass, the, the Diddy room, the, the butt room. ass, man. Like come, like say something. Like so you have to say something at some point. 